Hola y'all. I'm slow moving today. I am literally shuffling my feet. And that's what it's gonna be. Um, I hurt my back today. I bent over to do something and I just, it was just not the wrong, it was the wrong way to move. I don't know if I twisted it. I don't know. I just know that when I went back up, my back locked up. My low back is in excruciating pain. I've been on ice all day. I've been hurting all day. Ibuprofen and Tylenol all day. And I'm walking. It's the bending. It's the sitting. It's any type of forward or backward movement. It's not happening. Oh, and there's a spider web. But I can't get away from the spider quick enough. Oh, sorry. <sighs> I know I apologize. This is probably difficult for you to watch. It's not fun to watch somebody in pain. So I'm not gonna take a long time because I have, to, I'm gonna try to take a hot bath and then I'm gonna try to get back on some ice. But today I had a lot of work to do. After that happened, I was cleaning the house and I was just about done straightening up and I was about to start work when it happened. and. I just, my husband had to help me get to the couch and, and lay down. And um, anyway, so I've been on that couch all day and I've just been in like recovery mode or honestly just lay still and don't move so you're not hurting anymore mode. But I've been working out a lot, I've been running a lot and it's important to recover it's important to have rest days to recover. I hear all about it all the time. They're like, make sure you get plenty of rest days. We did a really hard leg workout Wednesday, or I say, I mean, it was not fun. And then I ran, I tried to run and I ran and, you know, just maybe a little too much. Maybe I need to back off a little bit as far as just spacing out my days. Cause I worked out three days in a row and I think my body needed a break in between. But anyway, recovery is super important for your body, but also in other ways. And I just wanna say, if you're recovering from something, and I don't know what it, I mean, I don't even know what it could be. I mean, there's lots of things. Let's say you're recovering from a broken relationship. Maybe it's a divorce. Maybe you're recovering from the death of a loved one. You know, maybe you're recovering from the loss of a job, like you got fired or you got laid off. They made cuts. Maybe you're recovering from betrayal or, I don't know, just if you're in recovery, I just want to tell you that it takes time to recover and you should take time. You're not expected to bounce back immediately from really hard things. <laughs> and the loss and destruction of a marriage or a relationship or the death of a father, a mother, a child, a brother, a sister, and the loss of a passion, a dream, or a friendship, or whatever it is that you're trying to recover from, you're in recovery. Just know that the whole world is not sitting there telling you, get up and get going, suck it up, walk it off. At least not people who know you, love you, and care about you. It's okay to take time to recover. It's okay to lay down somewhere and put ice on it and to take a nap and to sleep and to let your heart heal and let your mind heal and let your body heal. It's okay to let some internal work start happening and not feel guilty about it. Because the work will always need to be done whether you stop or not. You might think that putting on a brave face and just going to work anyway and hiding your grief and stuffing it down deep inside is the best way to go. But I'm gonna tell you, it's not. 
it's a process and recovery is part of the process of an injury, a workout. And to build muscle, you have to tear muscle down. But I have heard and read and, and believe, all these fitness experts, they know a lot more than I do. They say, if you wanna build muscle, you have to let it have time to repair itself after you tear it. So rest days, they say, are just as important as the days that you lift. Because if you don't give your body time to send like amino acids or proteins or whatever to your muscles to start repairing them, you are going to risk injury. <laughs> insert Jesse here. You're going to risk injury because the body needs time to recover. Well, I also want to remind you that the spirit needs time to recover, that the heart has to have time for recovery, that the mind needs time to process and recover. And if that means that you need to seclude for a moment and gather yourself and just sit still and quiet. And if that means a hot bath and candles and low music, if that means cleaning out of your life inventory and getting rid of things that you don't need anymore, whatever recovery looks like, but not the running away from it. I was able to finish most of the house, but not all of it. I dropped some coffee grounds on the floor while I was cleaning out the coffee pot. And I cannot bend over. So I cannot get those coffee grounds off the floor and I can't sweep them up. So I asked my husband, I was like, please, can you please? And he couldn't find the broom. They're still there. Now, I could have pushed myself because it bothers me so much. Now the kids found the broom and we're fixing to go take care of it. but. They've been there all day and I've walked by them the few times I've gotten off the couch to go to the bathroom or whatever and I'm shuffling and I've seen them and I was just like, that's awful. There's coffee grounds on the floor and they're right next to a wall, the door. So, because that's where the trash can's at. So the robot, my, my vacuuming robot could get it, but it can't get all of it. And I could push myself and probably hurt myself even worse and try to get the broom and do it. But I didn't, I didn't because I know how much pain I'm in. And I know that that is the body telling me something's not right and we're hurt, we are hurting. And if you push this and if you just trudge forward and you don't stop and let the body heal and take a break, you're going to do more damage and what you have right now is a temporary injury but if you push yourself and you work through the pain and you don't try to recover it might turn into a permanent situation it could be a permanent injury i could cause permanent damage so yeah i'm talking to you the person who just stuffs things down when injury and pain and hurt and grief come in your life you just stuff it down if you want to be strong and you just put on your brave face and you go and i understand that the world doesn't stop and i understand that work work and jobs don't stop i'm not i'm not talking about that but there's got to be a place for recovery there's got to be a place for recovery there has to be a place where you you chill and you stop trudging forward and you just let the body and the heart and the mind recover. I don't know how else to say it. And you know who I'm talking to. And at some level, at some season in my life and in certain situations, I'm talking to myself. But recovery for you is just as important as the days that you feel like you're conquering the world. Because if you don't take care of yourself, you won't have very many of those day conquers you won't because you will have some irreparable damage and you will have some permanent damage so I'm going to shuffle back into this house and try in some way pray for me please I got a wedding to go to this weekend I wasn't able to do much work today 
I need to work. There's a lot of stuff going on tomorrow and I need my body to work, but I'm not gonna push it to the point of damage. Right now I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna try to recover from whatever weird thing I did to my back and pray that God will touch me today. See you tomorrow. Thank you.